Hey, this is Donna St. Louis, and I am on the road. So here I am up in the north, and then I'm going to be heading over to the west, and then I'll be hopping over to the, over the pond, so I'll be over in England. You might be wondering, no, I'll be in London. Yeah, I'll be in London, England. I had to think about that. So you might be wondering, okay, why does she travel all over the place? Well, I am a top negotiation and persuasion expert, and I help your competition close more deals faster using very simple hacks and tactics that I've learned over the years. So this one is called the stray kitten, the stray kitten. So I want you to imagine for a moment that you, that, you know, for those of you who have a heart and a soul, (laughs) let's just make sure we have that. So for those of you who have a heart and soul, I want to imagine that, I want you to imagine that a puppy or kitten comes outside your door. They just show up. There's no parents around. It's just them. You might feel compelled to give the kitten some milk or something, right? So you want to help the kitten out. And then, of course, the next day comes and the kitten's at your door again. And then the third day, it's raining. So now you really feel like, oh, I got to help the stupid kitten out. And you bring it inside. And three years later, you have a cat. My point is, this is the stray kitten tactic. And when you use it in sales and negotiation, it actually causes your customer, your prospect, to want only not only to do business with you, but to help you be successful. So now let's use you. Let's say someone comes to you, someone in college, they come to you and they want some advice, whatever that advice is, but they know that you can help them. And what do you do? You give them that advice. Now, most of the time you give people advice and they walk away. They don't even take the advice, right? And you're like, what a waste of my time. But every now and then you have that one person that comes and they take it and they come back to you and they tell you what, you what they did to be successful or to get to that level of success. And you now feel a little invested. So you give them a little bit more advice and you keep helping them, propelling them. You might even network them and, and whatever because now you look in and go, wow, this person really has drive and fortitude and they want to move forward and they look up to me. What can I do to help them? So if you're paying attention, you're probably getting to where I'm going because this same exact thing works with your prospects. All you have to do is say to your prospects, regardless of where you are in your business, even if you've also closed the deal, all you have to say is, what advice can you give me in order to do more business with you? That's it. That is the whole sentence. What advice can you give me in order to do more business than you. Now, of course, you can start it off and stroke them up a little bit and tell them how awesome and wonderful they are and how you look up to them and how you've noticed that, you know, they're brilliant. You got to know what their trigger is. But once you know what their emotional trigger is and what makes them buy, then all you really have to do is ask that next question. What advice can you give me in order to do more business with you? Now, this is why it works. That person's going to give you advice and you have but one job take the damn advice, right? Don't throw it to the side. Take the advice. When you go back to them, make sure that you're giving them progress, what you've done along the way so that you let them know whether the advice is working or not working. Here's the cool thing. If the advice isn't working, that's what they're going to do. Give you more advice. Here's the better thing. If the advice does work and you don't reach your goal, they're going to work to help you reach your goal. That's all you have to do. The customer now feels like they are indebted to you. Remember, when I talk about the guidelines, and you guys have heard me talk about the guidelines of negotiation before, the second guideline is he who has the power has the power to make other people feel like they have the power. This is one of those instances in which you're going to make your prospect feel like they have the power. And when they feel powerful, they do feel like they have the power to give you more business. So they will consistently help you move up. It works flawlessly. That's all you have to do. Ask the one question, take the advice, and then watch as your customer works on moving you up. And remember, step three is the critical one, which is you have to make sure you check in periodically and let them know you heard their advice, you took their advice, and the steps you're doing in that advice. I've done this same tactic to do a lot more work with bureaus, um, to get uh clients to help me with stuff that's very specific in my own organization and it's moved me up consistently. So if you like, if you or your sales team would like to know how to use some of these great persuasion tactics that really, really help them close the deal and do a lot more business, 
just let me know. My name is Donna St. Louis. I'm an international keynote speaker and top-selling author, and I will see you next time.